Hello everybody and welcome to our Uconnect 5 system tutorial. So this is a brand new system for the entire Fiat Chrysler Auto Group. Um, and today we're just going to take a really detailed look at it and show you guys what exactly is new with this new version versus the previous version and just what types of features and performance you can expect to see. I'm going to start off with, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the system in general. So looking at it visually speaking, you won't notice that there's a huge difference from the previous version. But what is making the big difference is actually what's under the hood and in the background as far as your software and your hardware. So on the hardware front, you now have 6 gigs of RAM and up to 64 gigabytes of solid slate storage. So that gives you basically computing power of a real computer or cell phone. Um, so that's going to make things five times faster as far as when you are the performance when you touch things. Um, you also have three times the screen resolution of the outgoing generation. Um, so here in this 2021 Dodge Durango with the 10.1 inch display, uh, you can clearly see the difference in resolution. It's very sharp. It's full HD. Um, and it's one of the best looking displays in the auto industry. And then the big change on the software front is the fact that this is now based off of Android. Um, so that does allow the uh, system to easily scale to different types of screen applications. So you have like a horizontal display like this model here, or it can also scale easily to the 12.3 inch vertical configuration that you see in the Ram 1500. We'll go ahead and kind of dig into some of the features. I'm gonna start right here. This is our new home display. You did not previously have a home screen on the old version. Um, so you'll notice you can customize uh, which types of tiles you want for your most uh, frequently used information. Yeah, so right now we've got our navigation on one side and our Android Auto on the other side. You just click that page right there if you want to add a section. So we can go to say this layout here and it'll reload the home display and we'll just basically select which types of information we want to show. Now across the bottom here, you have all your different shortcuts. This is very similar to the outgoing generation, but you do have more shortcuts available for quicker access. Along the top, you also have some shortcuts. So you now have a notification shade for different things inside of the system, kind of like a smartphone. You can also tap this and you have quick controls for your climate as well as your seats and your steering wheel. And then over here you have your audio and your voice commands. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the media as the next thing. Uh, so you notice when this boots up, the first thing you will just be greeted with is your main display. You can play and pause your music right there. And then you also have some quick uh, sources down along the side or you can click right here to get the full list of all the different audio sources you have to choose between. When we jump into the regular radio you will see you've got your presets that will line across the bottom and Dodge does nicely include you allow you to have your different types of radio sources all together in one row so you can quickly switch between AM, FM, and XM. A big focus of the new Uconnect 5 system is just having a natural flow of information so you have to do less clicking. So you'll notice you have tabs in most sections that make it very easy for you to move to the next section, uh, allowing you to go to browse and also see your settings all in one uh, flow across the top. Now we'll go ahead and jump next into the comfort. Uh, this is basically the climate controls. Um, it's a bigger version of what you find right there in the shortcut or also depending on the vehicle You probably will have physical controls below as well um, So this is pretty self-explanatory will vary depending on which type of vehicle you get Now the next tab is the navigation. This is a really a big change from the outgoing generation This is now powered by TomTom Tom instead of Garmin um, And you can really see the horsepower come into play uh, when you see how quickly everything loads, really smooth. Uh, you also have some cool things like the uh, shadow, drop shadow here with the uh, little arrow. Um, really great performance as well. So to begin navigating, you can just press the little search button here and start typing. You can also come down to this button here and this will be your main menu for all your different settings and things like that. 
you can add work, you can add home. Uh, you can also search by the type of thing you're looking for. So for instance, you can tap that little thing right there, which means gas station, and it'll go ahead and appear all the different gas stations right there on the map. And as you can see, again, it all loads very quickly. I'm going to jump next to one of the features I think people will be most interested in knowing about, and that is wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So I'll just hold my phone up here, show you guys it is indeed not plugged in. This is a new feature with the Uconnect 5 system. Um, and you don't have to be plugged in anymore, so you can just wirelessly control all of these features. You can also tell that the performance uh, is very smooth. It can't, I can't tell any difference whatsoever from the uh, being plugged in. And you also, that gives you access to your things like your Google Earth Maps as well. In the next tab, we have our vehicle settings. This will vary depending on which vehicle you're in, of course. With this Durango, we've got the ability to fold our headrest and open up our rear view uh, camera. We can also tap over here in the settings and see a lot more different types of functions, which I'll get into in just a moment. And then finally, our last tab, that's gonna be our applications. Um, the old version of the Uconnect did have a, something similar to this. It was located in the middle. Now this one's off to the side. And this will basically just be a uh, big place where you can find anything that you don't know how to find. You'll be able to sort between different types of categories. So say you're looking for something to do with Bluetooth, you can type phone, then you'll know device manager, and then there you go. You've already hit right where you need to get for uh, the ability to add or delete a device. This right here does remind me to speak about one thing, and that's the fact that you can actually have two phones paired simultaneously with this new version which is actually something that we have going on right now. And one last thing I want to mention here in the applications is the fact that you have the new Amazon Alexa abilities. Now with the new Uconnect 5 system, they have upgraded the voice commands as well. So you can uh, talk with more natural language without having to memorize things. So I would go ahead and do one of them. Call Mason. All right, calling Mason, mobile phone. So as you can see, no hesitation, no uh, reconfirming things over and over and over, just simply works and works quickly. I feel cold. Warmer. So that's pretty much the main features of the system. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of look through a few of the kind of odd and end things and things to do with the settings to get more specific. Um, so the first application I'm going to click into is our audio settings. This will allow you to adjust the balance of where you want these speakers and you can also adjust if you want bass, mids, treble, stuff like that. So I went ahead and hopped into some of our settings here. Um, you'll notice right at the top you have different things for your display. It does have auto brightness, um, which seems to be pretty good, but you can take manual control if you want to make it a little bit brighter, a little bit dimmer. Uh, we also have two different themes that we can choose between. Um, FCA has updated the fonts and stuff on board. So basically it looks like we can kind of go to something that's cleaner, uh, more simplistic, or something that kind of looks like a performance theme with a little bit of a weirder different font there. Moving down below that, you have the ability to turn on and off the touchscreen beep, which I know a lot of you guys will probably want to do. Um, we can also change some, a few different settings as far as having your phone pop up information right on the display if you want to keep that private to yourself. Over on this side, we can switch to different uh, profiles. Uh, this will allow you to customize each of these profiles uh, to whatever you like. And then uh, these, another person driving can have separate stuff. Uh, we also have some of our vehicle settings. Um, this will be specific to your vehicle, of course, but you can uh, choose if you want to allow or uh, not allow different types of uh, sensors and beeping to go on with uh, for alerts. Um, you can also change different things related to the drive modes as well. Once again, here's where you have some of your information about Bluetooth. We also have some options for voice commands as well. And we can set a wake up word. So if you want to do hey Uconnect or hey Dodge, you can do that. Um, and just say that aloud, and then it will go ahead and start listening for your voice command without you having to press any button at all. 
Hey, you connect. Navigate to nearby McDonald's. McDonald's. This is everything I found. Which do you want? One. McDonald's, 864 Eastern Bypass, Richmond, Kentucky. Want that one? As far as your navigation settings, you've got a lot of different stuff in here. This is where you can set points of interest and things like that to display. You can also change your map view to be 3D, north facing, stuff like that. And then you also have your alerts and routing. Um, with the new TomTom base system, you actually can get live traffic as well. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this brand new Uconnect 5 system tutorial. Hopefully you found this video to be interesting and you learned a lot. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll join us again as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.